If you're young and you've just had some hyaluronate gel, for instance, injected into your lips, it can be quite a shock to you. It's the first time you ever had it done and suddenly your lips are looking enormous and you don't like it. People who have filler are often experimenting with their face. And it's a shame that it has to be like that, but young people are uh, not confident and they want to look better and filler is available. So they go and see somebody who is possibly not very experienced in putting in filler. This can be filler in the cheeks, filler in the under eye area, or filler in the lips, or even the jawline. And they don't like the effect, they don't recognize their face. You look in the mirror and you say, no, it's not me. Uh, I don't look like me any longer. I really want to get rid of this filler. That's one group of patients I see. And then the other group say, well, it's a bit overfilled, I'd like to get rid of part of it. They will come to me so I can assess them for their overfill or the appearance they don't like with a filler, either because they just don't like it or it's been done possibly by someone unexperienced. And I can advise them on whether I have to try and reverse all of it or just part of it. We have a long discussion about what they want out of it. They t you will tell me all your concerns about it and I will try and match that and reverse the filler that you don't like that's overfilled. First of all, you should wait a few days for the injection swelling to settle down. And if you still don't like your lips at the end of that, there is a little enzyme that can be injected into the lips, into the hyaluronate gel to reverse it. This is an off-license use. It's not exactly comfortable, neither was putting the gel in in the first place, but it will completely take away all of the hyaluronate gel, the lip filler that you've had and detest.